Hey YouTube, my name's Lucky and I thought I'd bring you guys a quick little video giving you guys some tips and tricks for the new competition game mode in Call of Duty Black Ops. Now the competition game mode is not new for Xbox 360 users, it's been out for about a month now, but it is new for PS3 users, it was just released on May 31st, however this tips and tricks video will apply to both Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 users. The first thing I'll mention is that the competition game mode is found under the bare bones playlist. And basically this new game mode is designed to imitate competitive gaming rules, very similar to game battles and major league gaming rules. However, there are a lot more platforms of competitive gaming than just gamebattles.com and majorleaguegaming.com, and Call of Duty is a game that is played worldwide, and so they made this competition game mode out of the sort of universal rules that are found in almost every competitive gaming platform. Now, here in a second, I'm going to go into my very first match that I played uh, of the new competition game mode on the PlayStation 3. I had played it quite a bit on the Xbox 360 already, and so going into this, I definitely wasn't new to it, uh, but this was my first game playing the competition game mode on the PlayStation 3. The first thing you might notice is that you don't have any equipment. Uh, any equipment that you equipped before playing this playlist, like Claymore or Motion Sensor, has already been disabled. It's not even available for you to use. Another thing to mention are your tactical grenades. Uh, Nova Gas and Decoys have been disabled in this game mode, and so you're pretty much left with just the option of stuns and flashbangs. With that being said, stuns are the much better tactical grenade to use. Basically, a stun grenade can be thrown a lot faster and a lot more efficiently than a flashbang. Flashbangs, yes, are more powerful. They can both stun and blind your enemy, but they take longer to throw, and very often you end up just flashbanging yourself as well. And so stuns are much better to use, and I would highly recommend that you use stuns when you're playing in the competition game mode. Now, another thing I'll mention, and perhaps the very most important thing that I'll mention in this entire video, is your perk selection. A lot of perks are banned in the competition game mode. The two biggest perks to mention are Flak Jacket and Warlord. Both those perks are banned in the competition game mode, and so if you use them, you will be playing with an empty perk slot, which means your character will look like he has that perk on, but when you spawn in, right there where it says lightweight, if you're using Flak Jacket, it'll say none, and none means you have no perk at all, and so it means you're running around without a first perk at all. And likewise, if you're using Warlord, it'll say you're running around with no second perk at all, and it will give your weapon no attachments at all. And so the question then comes up is, uh, that a lot of people might be wondering is, what are the best perks to then use? Well, number one, the third perk slot is guaranteed. You always, always, always want to use Ninja Pro. You don't want people hearing your footsteps, especially in the competition playlist. Uh, a lot of these players are going to be competitive players or have competitive experience, and so they're probably going to have headsets. And so if you're not running around without Ninja, you're going to get heard very, very easily. If you're running around without Ninja, the best way I can put it is that you're basically giving the enemy a constant UAV. They know exactly where you're at because they can hear you anywhere on the map because your footsteps are very, very loud in this game. And so perk three, always use Ninja. Now perk one, you could switch between Lightweight and Scavenger, but I would say 95% of the time you want to use Lightweight. Number one, Lightweight will help you to move faster, which can potentially get you to spots quicker, help you win gunfights, and also Lightweight Pro has the effect of no falling damage, which can make your moving around the map very different and very unpredictable. You could climb up a tall building, uh, shoot someone, and then, you know, the opposite team will think, oh, well, he's camping up there. Well, no, you have Lightweight, and so as soon as you shot that guy, you jumped off that tall building, and you didn't receive any falling damage, and you ran away. And so you can be very unpredictable and play a lot better if you're playing with Lightweight. So I would recommend using Lightweight Pro as your perk one slot. Now, perk two is a little bit different. Uh, you can vary between Slate of Hand and Steady Aim. I would definitely not recommend using Scout Pro for obvious reasons. And number two, Hardened Pro, it really isn't that great of a perk. Yeah, it does give you a little bit more bullet penetration, and if you have Hardened Pro, uh, it makes it so that your gun doesn't jump when you're getting shot, and so that's pretty nice. Uh, but overall, Slate of Hand Pro is definitely the best perk. I would say to use that perk probably about 80% of the time, and maybe use Steady Aim just on occasion here or there. There you see I got stunned. Uh, I made hidden behind the box. I expected he wouldn't know that I was there. And I pop out the last second and end up getting a nice two piece. Alright, now I'm going to get on to another topic. So, the primary weapon that you're going to use in competition game mode. Now, you can definitely use a variety of different primary weapons. Every submachine gun, assault rifle, light machine gun, and sniper rifle is available for you to use. Only some attachments are banned, the, namely the flamethrower attachment, the shotgun attachment, the grenade launcher attachment, and the rapid fire attachment. But other than those attachments, you're allowed to use any other attachment on any assault rifle, submachine gun, light machine gun, or sniper rifle. 
However, I would highly recommend that you use the FAMAS assault rifle uh, probably about 90% of the time. It's the most powerful weapon in the game simply because it has a great range and a very high rate of fire. The only other weapon that you might even want to consider using would be the AK-74U, which is a submachine gun, and you'd probably only want to use the grip attachment on that. But again, I would pretty much recommend that you only use the FAMAS. It's pretty much the best weapon in the game, and it's going to give you an advantage when you're playing in the competition game mode. Now the very last thing I'll mention is the secondary weapon. About 99% of all pro players use the Python with Speed Reloader. It's the most powerful and effective secondary weapon that you can enable in the competition game mode. Alright, now this match is over, and as you can see, I went 10-0 in my very first game uh, on the competition playlist on PS3, and the reason why was because I took all the advice that I said in this video, and I put it into practice. I used all the perks that I mentioned, the primary weapon, the secondary weapon, and because I used all of that, I was able to be very effective in the new competition game mode. Now the tips and tricks that I've given you in this video are only simply suggestions. You do not have to follow these rules. However, if you want to be successful in the competition game mode, I would highly suggest that you follow the suggestions that I've given you, because every pro gamer in the world would absolutely agree with all the things that I've said in this video. Alright, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful in any sort of way, if you'd give it a like rating and favorite it, that would greatly help me out a lot, and I appreciate it. My name is Lucky. Thanks for watching. Later.